Hello and welcome to another tutorial with MATLAB and Thermodynamics. My name is Manuel Ramseyer. I'm working at the University at Ravensburg Weingarten. And in this video, I will show you how to make a basic concept in, in guide, giving you the ability to make a user interface with push buttons, radio buttons, and a 2D and 3D graphics area. So the first thing we want to look at in this video is the basic concept. And for that reason, we start guide by typing guide in our command window. Then this window will pop up and this will give you the ability to make different preselections. We will use the blank one for uh, the reason that we want to build our own functionality from the ground up and you see how to make that press OK, then this window pops up and what you see here is a bunch of uh, functions you can import here and here you see the names right beneath them. This isn't uh, the standard. You go to File Preferences and check this box where it says Show File Extension in Window Title or Show Names in the Component Palette. I think the first one it is. Let's see. Yeah. Usually it looks like this, but I like it better this way because I cannot remember the symbols correctly each time. So for uh, that reason, I put that always on there. And we want to start by making a panel. Panel is always good because it gives you a nice overview of the program. And on a, on a later point, when you want to build something onto on top of your program, it's always nice to have these little boxes. So we uh, start with a panel right here and just draw a panel about this size and we want a push button in here and a group of buttons, button group and I will use two radio buttons in here so like this and then we need an axis. And that's the space where our 2D and 3D graphs will get printed out. And that's the basic concept I want to look at at the moment. So for this video, I want to make uh, the basics in order to do the implementation in the next video. So we had our tutorial one with the start of the program, material properties, geometric properties, process parameters, velocity. We made a differentiation with the Reynolds number, got our nuzzled number, then going further to our alpha, calculating our heat um, as our target variable, and finally printed that in 3D plotting. What I want to do with this guide, just to show you how the basic works, is I want to make a switch selection in here. You could either print a 3D chart or select a 2D plot from a 3D mesh, like we did in the last video. So that should be the differentiation. With the push button, I want to start the whole thing and the axis should be the area where it gets printed. Okay, let's visualize that here. So we have a 2D plot in here and a 3D plot. So 3D plot and 2D plot, they will get um, started when a, the, the push button will get pressed. So let's say we have here our push button. Okay. So when our push button starts, we calculate all this and do the 3D plotting but only if we have the bottom group selected with 3D plotting, okay? So we have another, another if course here, like that. Um, call that radio buttons. And this will select either 2D plot or 3D plot. Mm. 
Now, 3D plot requires nothing special because all the information is already given here. 2D plot, on the other case, requires uh, the definition of a diameter. So I put here diameter input. And just combine those two together. This diameter input I could do as well in guide. So I will just extend the box here, put that to the right, and put another input window in here. Maybe like that. And let's just sort them a little bit. Maybe like that. And then I have a little bit of static text above it. Maybe something like 2D plot uh, diameter. Now comes um, the part how to edit your guide elements. You double click it and an inspector pops up and you have to make a different differentiation between tag and string. So string is this uh, sentence or this um, this letter which is displayed on the guide window and tag is the name how the program will call uh, the function or the, the the thing which stands in here the input for example so make a differentiation between tag and string that's um, important so for the reason that this is a static text it is not important what tag is because we don't want to change that we just um, we just edit the string for that reason change it here to to the plot diameter in millimeters. Okay, and I should have pressed enter to the plot diameter millimeters. Enter. Now we got that. And here we have. Um, the tag, which is in this case important. Um, I would say this is 2D, 2D, the I as a tag, and the string, we would say that it should be a number, for example, three millimeters. Okay, and tag didn't get taken. So again, to D, the I, enter. Now this struck me a little bit. Maybe I cannot use to D, the I. Okay, no. Numbers and letters don't mix in here, so the I we get as an input in here. To I input. Okay, now it works. DI input. Okay. All right. Then the radio buttons, they should be named differently. So I will change the strings first. String one would be the 3D plotting. And the tag would be also RB for radio button 3D. We learned that numbers and letters don't mix that good, so we give free with uh, the letters. And the other one is 2D plot uncertain diameter, and that will be radio button 2. All the small letters. Press enter and that will be it. Just making sure that this is also a small d. 
Okay. Um, the axis mm, will get. Um, we will use that to do our plotting. So we have to name the tag in here, right? Because I don't want to mention axis one as axis axis one, but as plot. Okay, we just have one plot, so normally you could do sorts of stuff like axis plot one or something like that, but we will just simply name that as plot. And that would be about it. The button will get changed in here, so the tag is push button, that's okay. But the string, um, um, I will rename, do calculation. Maybe an exclamation mark will work. Yeah, in the string, it all works. Okay, fine. That will conclude this tutorial. In the next video, we will learn how to implement that in the code. But as a preview, we will just see um, how that looks like. Maybe we will take that as to five, two. And you will see those automatically generate code right here, uh, which we will cover next video. And then the figure opens up as you see it here. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you on the part two of this video.